मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट प्रैक्टिस सेट 3.2 इन प्रैक्टिस सेट 3.2 द फर्स्ट प्रॉब्लम दैट कैन बी सी ऑन अ स्क्रीन व्हाट आर दे सेड इन ईच ऑफ द एग्जांपल गिवन बिलो अ पेयर ऑफ ट्रायंगल इज शोन इक्वल पार्ट्स ऑफ ट्रायंगल इन ईच पेयर आर मार्क विद द सेम साइन सेम साइन मींस व्हाट डू यू अंडरस्टैंड इफ द साइन आर सेम दैट मींस दैट दैट टू पार्ट्स आर कॉन्गरेंट observe the figure and state the states by which the triangle in each pairs are congruent okay so see this is the first triangle this is the a b c triangle and this is the p q r triangle okay so these are the two pairs one pair of the triangle that ab having one identical mark same identical mark having in pq so we can say ab is congruent with pq what are you understand my students if triangle sides if triangle showing equal identical mark same identical mark that means that that parts are congruent so if you are observe pq having one identical mark ab having one identical mark so ab having one identical mark pq having one identical mark that means that ab is congruent with pq then bcc bc having two identical mark and qr qr having two identical mark that what is the meaning of that meaning is that bc is congruent with qr so see first ab is congruent with pq a side is there bc is congruent with qr another side is there so s s then what about ac ac having three identical marks ac having three identical marks and pr also having three identical marks so ac having three identical mark pr having three identical marks so ac sides and pr sides they are congruent so by s s s means first ab congruent pq s bc congruent qr s ac congruent pr s how many s three s so the triangle abc and triangle pqr congruent by s s s s are you understand then second diagram see this is the x y z and this is the l m n so see x y having one identical mark l m having one identical mark their meaning is that x y is congruent with l m x y is congruent with l m why x y is congruent with l m because x y having one identical mark and l m having one identical mark so the identical marks are same so they are congruent so x y is congruent with l m so this is what s then c y angle they are showing such a identical mark so same identical mark having in lm and m so y and m they are having same identical mark so this y is congruent with m so this y is congruent with m so this is side after that angle then yz having two identical mark yz having two identical mark and mn having two identical mark so yz is congruent with mn so this is side this is angle and this is side so sas according to sas test triangle xyz and triangle lmn are congruent okay any one doubts if you have doubt you can ask me then this is the triangle pqr and this is the triangle sorry you are taken such a way prq so this is the triangle prq and this is the triangle stu so these are the two triangles they are said so seeing p having such a direct and uh, such a mark they are showing curve and in that curve they are showing small circle see this is the curve showing and here having small circle in p so same sign is having in s here see they is having same curve and same small circle so we can say p is congruent with s so this angle p congruent with angle s so this is a then p are having two identical mark same two identical mark having on st so p r is congruent with st why p r is congruent with st because p r having two identical mark and st is also having two identical mark that means that pr side and st sides are congruent so pr is congruent with st 
then this R show they are having the curve and write their X same condition having here in T showing the curve and having their X so this R angle and this T angle are congruent so see P angle congruent with S A P R is congruent with S T S then R is congruent with T R angle and T angle are congruent so A so A is A test so triangle PRQ triangle PRQ congruent with STU by A is A test here they are only say write the name of the test so we are not right here okay then another diagram see this is the element okay element and this is the PTR so if you are observe this LM having one identical mark and this TP having one identical mark so LM is congruent with TP then this M is 90 degree this T is 90 degree so M is congruent with T each 90 degree M is equal to what 90 degree T is equal to what 90 degree so major angle M is congruent with major angle T 90 90 degree then 90 degree opposite side is hypotenuse so ln is congruent with pr so hypotenuse ln is congruent with hypotenuse pr so ln is congruent with pr hypotenuse test so by hypotenuse side test triangle element is congruent with ptr why it is hypotenuse remember my students when in the triangle they are having each 90 degree c m is equal to 90 degree t is equal to 90 degree that means that they are each 90 degree so when you give reason each 90 degree then these two triangles are congruent by hypotenuse case do you understand then problem number second observe the information shown in the pairs of triangle given below state the test by which two triangles are congruent write the remaining parts are congruent okay remaining parts congruent you want to write first you can write the name of the test so see this is the abc triangle and this is the pqr triangle so in this triangle b angle is congruent with q angle i think that you are understand it why i say my students b is congruent with q why why i say b is congruent with q because b having see the mark identical mark curve and this small circle this q you are observed in q curve and small circle so this b angle and q angle they having same identical mark so they having same identical mark so angle b is congruent with q so this is a then bc sides having two identical mark then qr sides having two identical mark so segment bc congruent with segment qr segment bc congruent with segment qr so bc is congruent with qr so this is s so a s then c angle c angle c in this angle c they are showing curve and this cross mark so same having in r they are having curve and cross mark so angle c congruent with r so c b congruent q angle a is there a is there bc congruent with qr side is there a s is there then c angle is congruent with r angle a is there a s a so these two triangles are congruent by a s a test so triangle a b c and triangle pqr angle a b c congruent with angle p q r the reason is given okay then segment b c congruent with segment q r then angle ACB is congruent with angle PRQ. Reason is given. So see angle side angle. So triangle ABC similar sorry triangle ABC congruent with triangle PQR by AS8SC angle side angle AS8S triangle ABC and triangle PQR so angle abc congruent with angle pqr reason is angle then segment bc congruent with segment qr so segment bc congruent with segment qr then angle acb congruent with angle prq okay so angle side angle 
सो ट्रायंगल ट्रायंगल ए बी सी आर कॉन्गोरेंट टू इट ट्रायंगल पी क्यू आर व्हाट एंगल साइड एंगल सो ए एस इट इज दे आर कॉन्गोरेंट देन रिमेनिंग करस्पॉन्ड रिमेनिंग पार्ट्स व्हिच इज कॉन्गोरेंट व्हिच इज नॉट शो सो सो दिस एंगल सो एंगल बी ए सी इज कॉन्गोरेंट टू इट क्यू पी आर सो सी हियर इज रिटर्न एंगल बी ए सी इज कॉन्गोरेंट टू इट क्यू पी आर रिमेंबर माय स्टूडेंट्स इन द ट्रायंगल व्हिच यू आर शोइंग कॉन्गोरेंट that you write first and you can write name of the disc afterwards we are showing the triangle congruent afterwards which sides are not show congruent which angle is not show congruent that you write that is called remaining so see here is b and q congruent here is c and r congruent so only one angle is here a angle and here is only one angle p angle so angle a and p are congruent you want to show so how can you give name b a c एंगल बी एस सी कॉन्गोरेंट विथ एंगल क्यू पी आर सो आई राइट यर एंगल बी एस सी कॉन्गोरेंट विथ एंगल क्यू पी आर करस्पॉन्डिंग एंगल ऑफ कॉन्गोरेंट ट्रैंगल देन विच साइट इज नॉट शिवन सी ए बी ए बी इज कॉन्गोरेंट विथ पी क्यू देन विच इज रिमेन ए सी ए सी इज कॉन्गोरेंट विथ पी आर ओके सच ए वे यू कैन राइट द रिमेनिंग पार्ट विच इज राइट द कॉन्गोरेंट सो हेर इज triangle ptq and triangle str so these two triangles you want to show congruent so see pt having two identical mark st having two identical mark so pt is congruent with st then qt having one identical mark tr having one identical mark so qt is congruent with tr and see this shape is look like dumb row or x that means that these two angles are vertically opposite angle so side angle side sa stays this two triangles are congruent so here is we show how can you write segment pt congruent with segment st here is reason given segment pt congruent with segment st given then angle see this is vertically opposite angle so angle angle ptq congruent with angle str vertically opposite angle then segment tq segment tq congruent with segment tr so segment tq congruent with segment tr so see side angle side sa stays so triangle ptq congruent with triangle str by sa stays triangle ptq congruent with triangle str sa stays sa stays okay so remaining parts you can show congruent which is this q so this p angle is show congruent with this s angle vertically opposite angle now this is the alternate angle setting okay but here is you write congruent angles corresponding congruent angles are congruent so angle tpq this p angle is congruent with angle tsr magash is we are already explained the which is not show congruent that uh, you can write so p angle is congruent with s so angle tpq congruent with tsr then which angle is remain q angle and which is then r angle so that angle name you can give so angle tqp angle tqp is congruent with angle trs okay corresponding angle of congruent angles so they are congruent then sides three sir two sides you are showing one side is remain only pq pq is congruent with sr very simple then another from the information shown in the figure state the test assuming the congruent of abc and pqr write the remaining congruent parts of the triangles so these are the diagram showing to you so this is the abc triangle and this is the pqr triangle so see my students a is 90 degree and q is 90 degree so they are congruent by hypotenuse tests so triangle bac c bac and triangle pqr that you want to show congruent first segment ba that having one identical mark segment ba that having one identical mark so segment ba congruent with segment pq okay given then a is 90 degree q is 90 degree so angle bac congruent with angle pqr 90 degree okay then hypotenuse bc Congruent with hypotenuse PR. 
and here is that I already explained BS is congruent with PQR 90 degree. Segment BA congruent with segment PQ that is given. Segment BC congruent with segment PR that is given. Angle BAC BAC A angle 90 degree congruent with angle PQR Q angle 90 degree that is given. So triangle BAC congruent with triangle PQR hypotenuse test. Okay. Then remaining parts you want to show congruent that is only one thing means side only one AC is congruent with QR corresponding C S C T means what C C for corresponding S for side corresponding side C corresponding sides congruent triangle okay then another this is the B angle is congruent with P angle so name is A B C angle A B C congruent with Q P R corresponding angle congruent with corresponding sides so and then angle C so angle A C B congruent with angle P R Q okay or Q R P meaning is same so the reason is corresponding C for corresponding A for angle corresponding angle congruent triangle is that clear C means what corresponding A means what angle this C means what congruent this T means what triangle so how can you read corresponding angle congruent triangles okay such a way so reason 4 as shown in the adjoining figure triangle LMN and triangle PNM LM is equal to PN LN is equal to PM write the test which assure the congruence of two triangles write their remaining congruent parts so this is the triangle LMN and this is the triangle PNM so triangle LMN LMN and triangle PNM so these two triangles is there so segment LM is congruent with segment PN LM having one identical mark PN having one identical mark so segment LM is congruent with segment PN then MN is common side between these two triangles but what is given here identical mark 2 LN and here is PM2 means 2 2 so they are congruent so LN is congruent with PM so here is we should write segment LN is congruent with segment PM then if you are observe this MN is having in triangle LMN this NM having in triangle PNM so this side is common side and whatever be the common they are congruent so here is this is given but by observation segment mn congruent with segment nm see if you read element triangle then this is the mn if you read pnm triangle then this is the nm but this side is common side so they are congruent so three sides are congruent so the triangle is congruent by ssi stays so element and congruent triangle PNM by side 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 S S S space. Then angle is congruent. So this M angle is congruent with this N angle. So angle L M N congruent with angle P N N. Reason is given afterwards. Then this L angle and this P angle is congruent. So angle M L N congruent with angle n p m okay then another <coughs> n angle means angle l n m congruent with angle p m n so these three angles are congruent so corresponding c for corresponding a for angle corresponding angle congruent triangle c corresponding a angle c congruent t triangle corresponding angle congruent triangles so such a way we have completed four problems in this exercise so only two problems i am given to you as a homework so please solve these two problems in your homework notebook notebooks and in lectures four problems were already learned so that all four problems you can write in your class book notebook. Listen this lecture two times. First times you are only understand. 
don't write anything only understand it and afterwards the second times you can 